everybody, welcome to the Trey Corner. Those joining us for the very first time, welcome you welcome. Swag fam, this is another vlog. This is gonna be one of those vlogs. I don't know what, why I don't know why I always say that. Like, this is gonna be one of those vlogs, and then I want to come and tell you what this vlog is going to be about. BTW, nope, mm -mm -mm. I don't even know why I'm saying BTW, but my piercing is like piercing. How you, hope you guys are doing well. <sighs> Today is my final few hours in Cape Town. My flight takes off in a couple of hours. I've packed, I am dressed and ready to go home, my other home, not this one, my other home, yeah, so yeah, and all of our stuff go back to Namibia, is in home, right now I'm just making myself a cup of coffee and then I'm going to sit down and wait for my sister because she needs to, she still want to drive me to the airport. And that's basically it. In a few hours, I am back on Namibian soil. This was very different from my normal stays in Cape Town. Very hardly like anything to do because of all this COVID stuff. The fun stuff are out. You can't drink any alcohols so or no wine tasting, no gin tastings, no whiskey tastings. You can't go to the beach. <laughs> but at least we got to stand at the, you know, say bikey situation while we wait for, I mean, while we're at the beach. I was mostly spending indoors. Um, yeah, it was mostly spent indoors. It's just basically what the times are. Um, yeah, that's basically that for now. So I need to let you know this is going back to Namibia vlog. And I'm a little bit like emotional now because I'm going to miss my sister. It's good to be with her this couple of weeks. So long no this you know the, the the small blessings in this COVID thing is that i've been with my sister the longest that i've been in like the last two years where she was around like for three months so like three months if maybe not just a month august and september she was in namibia and then because she needed to go assist with things there work-wise and do doctor stuff and then here and then when she came in December for my brother's wedding, and then we stayed for like the funeral and everything, and then now we've been together. It's like a probably like four weeks that we've also been together. So this that's like so small blessings in this like turmoil and whatever we're going through in this whole unpredictable years and months, you know, time rather. So that has been like the blessing in itself, the small blessings because yeah, I really miss her when she's not around. Mind you, not even about things that we say to each other. It's just the fact that she's there. It's the presence of the person. That basically, it like, we'll sit for hours, watch TV, or sit for hours on our phones. The point is, she's there sitting next to me while we do the stories. If I have like a random comment, she can just always comment back instead of like, oh my gosh, she's so far. I'm not even going to say hi. It's just random. Anyway, I'm watching an Asian movie <laughs> while well, I am. Looks very old school Asian sci-fi sci on on Netflix, so I'm gonna do that before she comes. I think she's been here for about 30 minutes, and then yeah, I'm packed and ready to go. And I packed a little bit little stuff it seems eh? because like the plane wasn't gonna stay here for so long, but we stayed here for so long because of all these COVID insurances and all of that stuff that you must go through to make sure you're good and all of that extra good stuff. But it's been a good stay. It's been a good stay. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in a few when we're driving off to the airport and I'll see you guys on the other side.
One eternity later. Hi! I'm back. I'm in one fish bay. My lights are like yellowy. Lights, like, not in one fish bay. I'm in Ventuk. <laughs> I just said I'm in one fish bay. I'm in Ventuk. I'm home. Arrived. It was raining like no one's business. And then went to get food. So, yeah. Now I'm having dinner. It's KFC, Zinger Wings, and Streetwise too because I don't want to cook. And I'm having coffee on the side. But I'm going to sit here and have some dinner. All I watch an old Tyler Perry movie. Hey guys, this is a whole nother day. My hair did get done. You can see the mop. I refuse to put like to take it out. I'm just like, you know, I'm at home. I'm not doing anything. Let's just keep it in here. So I have these two oh, I'm excited. bananas on my in my fridge. I matched them now already. Um that I bought I think in the course of the last few days. I forgot about them, totally forgot. And then yesterday I into my fridge and I'm like oh my god I have bananas I was moving things around but they're so overripe I was like I haven't made banana bread in like forever so I'm making a banana bread fully have all the ingredients and like this is really like yeah I was literally preparing my lunch and now I'm like why am I making banana bread because I can't and that's my business it's fudge up there by the way. Oh 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 that there's fudge. It's drying. So yeah. These are my two overripe bananas. And I'm going to use um fit cook flour because I don't have cake flour, don't care. And yeah, and mosh candela that's in the fridge, so it must improvise. I'm going to use candela in the fridge. There's butter. Luckily, I already have eggs. I'm going to use fat cooked flour. And I don't know if I even have vanilla essence at this point, but I'm hoping I have vanilla essence. Yeah. Okay, I don't have any essence at all. Ugh, that's super sucky. Oh, why do I even bake in a while? I have baking powder. I have baking powder. Yeah, okay. I could do a minimum of baking for myself. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm excited now. Um, I'm going to turn on my oven in the meantime. And then start baking the stink. Let's bake. I must put you somewhere so you can see. You can bake nicely. So I can talk about this whole thing. Let me first go see if I have all my ingredients because I'm just like. See, yeah, definitely I've had cooked flour, so I'm going to use that. I, it, I've used this flour before. I think it makes beautiful cakes for me. This Bokomo version better than the cake cake one. I don't know why. I must get a baki. I don't even want to make so much cake. It's just me. I'm going to put it in a bowl and put it in the microwave to just melt it a little bit. Um, I don't need so much of it. And then I need a bowl. I need a bowl. I need a bowl. I'm going to make it in this little bag so you see exactly what's going on. And much uh, 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 candela. So instead of fresh milk, I'm going to use this. Um, mixing stuff, mixing stuff, mixing stuff. What is my mixing stuff? My spatula. Spatula! I must lower you so you see exactly what's, how, like, Dimaka, this whole situation is because I'm just excited about everything for no reason at all. But yeah. So, this is my butter.
that's enough i'm gonna put it in a plate and put it in microwave for a moment so that it can just melt i'm putting it in there for about 30 seconds hw oh brown sugar do i have enough brown sugar yeah you can see me okay cool so this is like half a teaspoon of sugar um so there it is i need two eggs right i know most people actually do the whole food. guys the flour i literally just use uh it's just i just see with the eye i don't even know how much of it it is fully by the time i edit this video you know how much of it i've used <laughs> i'm going to do wait butter first child i'm too excited calm down Now, staring, staring. Sugar is going to mix very well. Ooh. I forgot I already poured this is quarter cup of milk, could be like full cream milk, yogurt, whatever. Oh, this is making me so happy. And you put your bananas in that you've mashed already, or course, or mashed already. Put it in there into the mix. And then you put in the flour. I think it. Mostly, this is going to be like half a cup of flour. That's all it takes. powder oh I found yellow food coloring and almond essence maybe I'm gonna put that in no I'm gonna put cinnamon in here Little bit, literally a drop of almond because the smell is like very minute. Little bit, and I'm gonna put in a little bit of food color yellow. It's literally just a drop, like like. It's not even the cut the katopi. It's literally half the this katopi. Eh? What is the katopi? The top. Then we put the butter into the pan. Mind you, mine is almost almost slightly yellow, orange, whatever the color this is, because 
of the yellow food coloring. You're not supposed to put color in here, by the way, because all the ingredients will make it nice and brown, but it's just me. All in here, into the oven for an hour and 20 minutes. At 180. That's basically it. It's literally 1.30 and I have not had a drop of anything to eat or coffee or water. So, yeah, I'm starving. bang together and a bit more oil and that's my very easy cucumber salad done you know there's just something about me even if I don't want like I think about it now that I'm throwing stuff away this always happens Every Sunday, I tell myself, you know, I'm not going to exaggerate like one simple meal like I would do. There's just something about me and a proper Sunday meal. I think it's because my family, we're so used to like having Sunday lunch together. Like that's the day out of the week that we take to have lunch together. Even in the evening, like they have dinner together. When we're all together at home. So something that I have like a custom to. Like, Sunday for me is always like a treat. Now I'm baking banana bread that... In the week, I've just been like, I would have thrown those bananas away because they've gone bad. I mean, they are too overripe, but technically they've gone bad. Would have characterized them as gone bad, so I would have actually just threw them away. But now that I'm in the weekend, I'm like, it's a Sunday. Let me make banana bread. Anyway, that's just me. All the time, I love Sunday meals. I really do. Literally, to say, I say all of that just to say how much I love Sunday meals. That's too much babbling. Let me go eat. I'm hungry. It's already to two and I've just been here. I'll be back when the bread, our square bread is done. Of luck that need to be edited, so I'm going to edit those so I can put them up. Not publish them immediately, but at least have them like you know, uh, ready for publishing. <laughs> yes, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, I'm gonna sh show you how my hair looks like. Oh my gosh, this is the hair. I haven't done anything to them, I must still like wet them nicely to pull them out as far as i want and i'll cut off the other ends that i'm not like happy with but this is basically the hair it's just nubian hair like my hair is grown i'll show you my natural hair is so grown like that's basically where my hair ends i've got the length of my finger key almost past that but that's my hair that's my natural hair it's growing <laughs> it's really growing like 
what manna bread the one oh and also i ended up taking it out of the oven after one hour i did because mine is very small it's just for myself so i didn't make like a whole like a lot so i took it out in about an hour just keep watching it to make sure that it's exactly where it needs to be and it's right where it needs to be so i'm really happy with it so yeah that's that let me get into this thingy because it's already like past three in the afternoon so i'm gonna sit here finish my while well, i edit multitask and then definitely film a video and i put too many people outside that's exactly why i'm waiting because i would have filmed the video already but people are sitting like outside as well and it's nice and warm and the kids are like running around so i don't want to do that that's been like a lot of noise that will annoy me so i'm going to wait until a little bit later on when everybody's like moved inside i hope it starts raining because then like for the very to come inside that's so mean that is so mean no i will not do that i don't hope that but then just do their thing and then later before i go to bed i film and then i can wash my face off i just don't like washing my face just before bed with soap and all of that stuff and then do it again well i wanted to do it in the morning but you know what i mean uh because it like wakes me up <laughs> uh it actually wakes me up and then I'll, i'm gonna struggle for a while to fall asleep but that, that's basically it's, gonna, it's like a very chilled like weekend um vlog anyway my movie's almost finished let me get back to that and get my stuff together i'll chat to you guys a little bit later